Hi, this PowerPoint explains a little bit in a little bit more detail the GCSE textile course. It's perfect for anybody who's interested in fashion, likes to be creative and explore different ideas. The course will allow you to work with a range of different aspects to do with textiles. It could be weaving, it could be knitting, crochet, sewing, either hand or machine stitching. This slide shows some of the work from last, one of last year's candidates. Here she was working on her own photographs, playing around with them in Photoshop before coming up with her final idea. The assessment for the course takes the form of two components. The first one is a portfolio. This is usually done in a folder or sketchbook. It's, it's marked by the teacher and forms 60% of your GCSE. It's the most creative part of the course um, and you can include lots of different types of work from drawings, designs, fabric swatches, photographs, your own designs, your own experiments with different fabrics and obviously your final ideas. The second component is set by the exam board. You'll be given a list of different titles you can choose from and it forms 40% of your GCSE. You prepare for an exam which is a 10 hour practical exam. It won't all be carried out on the same day, it'll be split into sections and you'll have already done the preparation and the 10 hours is just to produce your final product. The student whose work appears on this uh, slide was working on a nature project and she'd done lots of research, lots of trials and this is her final product on here which is a cushion with an appliqued fox on the front of it. And this is the same student's second piece of work in her portfolio. She looked at an artist, Banksy, for this one and based her project on children's clothing. Um, so she did a lot of graffiti style ideas before coming up with the final idea of the dress that you can see in the photograph here. This slide is still the same student and it's showing her exam preparation. Um, she chose a title that looked at time through the ages and she decided to look at fashion through the different ages. So she did different times, different eras, looked at the styles, the fashions that were in at that particular time. And then her final piece was a skirt with different sections that opened up and showed different images and different features from each different era that she'd looked at. Obviously the main reason that people choose to study textiles is because they want to go into fashion design. However, in reality, very few people end up in that sort of career. However, there is a list on this slide showing a range of different careers that you could look at and it would be suitable starting point. It's a very creative subject. Um, you can take it in your own way, whatever way you want. But if you want any further information, then please email me for details.